The Groovy Project's founders, Tony and Emmy Award winner Jennifer Maloney Prezioso and Nate Lombardi, are using their professional experiences in the performing arts to inspire students across the country with fun, interactive, and life-changing projects. Our approach is to focus on the formative years when the students are less inhibited and more likely to take chances. Hey, I'm so happy I have some good friends. A man from men, from the start to the end. I'm so happy I have some good friends. A man from men, from the start to the end. If we are able to find the students' passions and teach them to focus on them, their lives can head in a positive trajectory. We prepare them for the difficult tween and teenage years with resilience training, awareness, and the creation of fun projects that they're proud of. They can take those experiences with them forever. Empathy, respect, and a sense of community will stay with groovy students for the rest of their lives. We think the most effective way to stop this epidemic is to prepare the kids before they get into a bad headspace. If we educate them in a very fun way in elementary school, when they get into middle school and high school, they will be ready to face the problems of adolescence. It is far better to build the immune system at a young age than to put a band-aid on a broken soul when it's too late. What makes the Groovy Projects different is our approach to inspiring students and our access to professionals in the entertainment industry. All of our projects have the students creating art, such as drawing, writing, taking pictures, beatboxing, rapping, dancing hip-hop, and doing body percussion like the MTV stars of today. Our creative team taps into that pop appeal. I hit it with a lot of love, which I think is what our youth and our kids need the most. And I know our students are going to remember it for a long time. And movement and rhythm um, is helping them own that information in a whole new way. So thank you. And it isn't just about not bullying. It's about the proactive of being kind and what it is to be kind and that it's cool to be kind. Because they're going into middle school, this was so important how to deal with new friendships, going to new places, and they're so excited, and I enjoyed it too. Um, it appeals to a variety of learners. The most important, obviously, was the message, and the kids, the adults, everyone, were talking about it all day yesterday, and it's really made an impact on us. All day after, after you guys had left, they were talking about being two inches taller and standing up for each other. After you guys had left, we had kids volunteering, um, speaking up in class that have never spoken up before just felt powerful. We have kids from nursery all the way through sixth grade and it's really hard sometimes to get something that engages all of them and that's what I, one of the things that I really liked about the assembly yesterday was that it really engaged all of them. It really connected with the values that we've been trying to um, instill in our students. We encourage them to speak out for themselves and that was something I really liked. I don't want to cry but it was really it was really great. No, I really I really mean it. Great. Usually assemblies are kind of boring, but this one was really fun. Um cuz we got Shh, let's say right here that. Or not boring, but this one was just more exciting than the other ones.